Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we have some beautiful non-bread sandwiches, ham, mustard, mayo, lettuce. So simple, so good, so delicious. But uh, today's discussion is more focused on Torchlight 3 Alpha or Beta or pre-release, whatever you want to call it. It's out now, purchasable on Steam, and I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you guys. It's disappointing. It's really, really disappointing. First of all, the game itself looks good. It looks beautiful. It's got a beautiful art design, just like the old Torchlight 1 and 2, and uh, that's where it stops. <laughs> Basically, the entire thing is not fleshed out. It's not ready to be released. It's not. It shouldn't be going out on sale on the store at all in any shape or form because the depth of the game is just not there. The skill trees are abysmally small for the characters. I mean, probably worse I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, you're basically pigeonholed into six or seven skill choices with not much to go on after that. It's very, very not fun. <laughs> it's, the characters are cool. The character designs are awesome. But the way the game plays and the way the skills interact right now is just not good. But you know what is good? This delicious mustard and mayo on these sandwiches oh my gosh look at that guys so delicious so amazing so you got like four character choices in the torchlight 3 pre-release you got the dusk mage the sharpshooter the train engineer i forget his exact name and then you got the forged uh all of them have again really cool character designs but uh when you get down to the core of the gameplay, I'm going to reiterate this, it's not there. It's just not there. It is a hack and slash Diablo style game. So, I mean, you know, there's a lot that can be uh, expanded very quickly in terms of map variety, enemy variety, and skills. But I wouldn't spend your money right now. Just wouldn't. In my time previewing the game, I really didn't get attached to any one character. Uh, nothing really spoke to me in terms of class differences i mean they all have single shot abilities there's very little aoe spells in the game unless you really spec for it combine this with the very toddler-esque visual designs of the actual abilities leads me to believe that this game was heavily 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 influenced by crayola crayons because <laughs> like the abilities just have random random effects in them that i don't know it just i understand torchlight 3 is meant to be cartoony but this is beyond beyond anything that i ever wanted or expected so i'm not trying to be overtly negative in this video i'm just saying don't buy the game until the game improves and gets better so let's divert our attention a little bit to this delicious last sandwich man these were absolutely delicious simplest thing in the world ham pita mayo lettuce a little bit of mustard on there and that's all you really need to be happy in life just a nice little non sandwich did i say pita i meant non guys have a great day remember to game eat and discuss and if you want to talk about torchlight 3 some more in detail with me below just do it just hit that comment button send me a little message and we'll figure it out together in the meantime remember to game eat and discuss and i'll leave you with a little bit of this final sandwich take it easy guys